Hi, my name is Tony Kovach, and I'm the artist in residence here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. I want to welcome you back to our series of instructional videos for the piano accordion. In our last lesson, we discussed techniques for playing an Irish reel, such as playing rapid repeating notes and characteristic left-hand accompaniment patterns. Today, we will add more Irish ornaments to our repertoire and use our new knowledge to play the song The Road to Lisdoon Varna. <laughs> Today's song has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. This would make you expect that it was going to start on a D, because the key of D major has two sharps, but it actually begins on an E. If you've been working through the series, you should recognize the characteristic sound of this scale, which sounds both happy and sad, as the Dorian scale. This is because the Dorian scale has a flat third and flat seventh, which gives it a partially minor sound. Another dead giveaway that we are using Dorian today is the use of a major chord, a whole step below the tonic. This chord is built on the flat seventh scale degree, and is used more common in Dorian music than in minor. In this case, that chord is D major. A lot of people say that this gives the music a Celtic or a pirate vibe. Throughout the series, we have played many songs in a four feel or a three feel, but today's jig will introduce us to a new type of feel, six eight. The six means that there are six beat per measure. The eight means that the eighth note gets the beat. In other words, we count to six quickly, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count to six and play our E bass note on the one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In 6-8, the 4 count is also emphasized, so try doing this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On all the unemphasized notes, you're going to play your E minor chord button like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To get the classic jig feel, we're going to drop the 2 and the 5, so it's going to sound like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As a warm-up, let's try playing this pattern. We're going to play two measures of E minor, and then two measures of D major. Remember, in Irish music, we only play the bass note when we switch chords. So it's going to sound like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Try repeating that a few times. What we just played in our warm-up is the basic skeleton of the A section accompaniment. You're going to play two measures of E minor, then two measures of D major, then another measure of E minor. At this point, you're going to play half a measure of E minor, and then you're going to switch to G major. Then we go through a sequence where chords are going to change every two beats. So we play G major, then we play A major, then B minor, then E minor. Notice right before we switch to the G major, when you play the E minor chord, you're going to play three chord chunks, just like this. Then switch. E minor, D major, E minor, here we go. G, A, B minor, E minor. The first phrase starts with your thumb on E, and then you're going to put your third finger on B, just like this. That's E, B, B. And then the second part of the phrase is going to go from A up to D. Remember, there's a C sharp in this key. So the phrase sounds like this. And here is where we're going to add a grace note. Our grace note is going to occur on the second B. We're going to very quickly play a D with our pinky, just like this. Notice that D I quickly sneak in there. So the phrase sounds like this. The next part of the song highlights a D major chord. You're going to start with your second finger on F sharp and your fourth finger on A, just like this. 
and then your thumb goes down to D. Here it is again. In order to put our hand in a good position for the next phrase, let's make sure that we end up with our thumb on E. You're going to play D with your thumb, D, E, F sharp, then you're going to put your thumb on E, and then cross over to D. That way your hand is in the perfect spot for the next phrase of the song. To recap, the D section looks like this. This section sounds a little dull, so we're going to add something called a mordant. It's going to sound like this. On the section where we start with D, we go D, E, F, and then you're going to very quickly play a G and come back down, just like this. The mordant sounds like this. That's F sharp, G, F sharp. The whole D section sounds like this. The next part of the A section is simply a return of the E minor phrase. And the section ends with a phrase that starts with our fourth finger on C sharp. Here it is again. The whole A section sounds like this. Let's add in our left hand. Some students may be struggling with finding the timing for the beginning of that chord sequence. It occurs at the very end of the second E minor phrase. We're going to switch to the G major chord as soon as we reach the top note of that phrase, just like this. Here's the entire A section with a focus on the left hand. The chords for the B section are a lot simpler because they tend to only be played for one measure at a time. The first phrase is going to be E minor, B minor, A major, B minor, just like this. After that it's E minor and B minor. And then we're going to play two beats of A, two beats of B minor, and then another measure of E minor. So the chord progression sounds like this. E minor, B minor, A, B minor, E minor, B minor, A, B minor, E minor. The B section starts with your third finger on E. So notice it's mostly moving stepwise and slowly descending. And then the second phrase is nearly identical. Here's the last section of the second phrase. Notice I used my third finger on the B so that I could reach down to the E with my thumb. Let's put it all together. Join us next time as we explore techniques used in Scottish music. Thanks for watching.